In this lecture, we'll learn how to do distribution fit and normality test. So if you come to statistics and come to descriptive statistics, you see distribution fit and normality test. So let's start with distribution fit. So just open, open dialog and let's select X, which is A which is a selling price. You can select any of them but for demonstration. Let's start with this and then for your distribution fit. So this is how they are distributed and you want to fit it. Okay. So you can choose the quantities that you want in your summary. You can choose some of these choose mode and then the basic test. You can do a mean test or you can do or you cannot you can also choose no so for a mean test if you want to do a t test which is used to determine if there's a significant difference between the mean of two groups you can go ahead and choose it or a z test which also compares to variance okay so you can also choose your distribution if you want discrete or continuous you can choose the distributions in here and come over to plot. Do you want a cumulative distribution frequency plot or probability plot or just bar chart and histogram? You can also choose the goodness of the fit. So make sure you know what these fits models are and know what you're going to get from it. Come to output. So you start with input. You choose these, which will give you a summary. And then where will it output to? You can choose new worksheet or a new workbook and just hit OK. So this is it. This is our input A. It gives us summary of the descriptive statistics, which is and the number of samples, the missing number of po um, data points were zero. So everything was failed. This was the mean and we have our skewness, ketosis, the mode we have our quartiles we, we can have all these also modified and then you have your fit so this is your distribution fit so it's a normal fit and you can come back and you can also have a box plot which can be edited as we have already done you can come back and change some of the parameters so if you come in here and you can maybe add some more columns so let's go to select columns and we already have a so let's select b and c and go to ok now you have your data range from a b and c and let's go to quantities let's yeah we already have this it's fine let's do a mean test so let's do a t test and and th for the distribution we can even do discrete and choose poisson and the goodness of the fit let's choose this for demonstration and then there we go so this is our input we have a b c so our output is going to give us result for a result for b result for c and then we can have all these values here and for a b and c and this is our mean test so this is yeah you can infer from it that at the 0 0.05 level the population mean is significantly different from that of the test mean so yeah and you can have your your discrete fit as we did so if you select this one this is our discrete fit using poisson and you can change it any way that you want so let's come back to our sheet and go to statistics and move to descriptive statistics move ahead to normality test an open dialog box so normality test helps us to determine whether sample data has been drawn from a normally distributed population so 
this is a test that will help us to know if this is normally distributed so let's just choose a and hit quantities you can choose these tests so these are models that you have to know them before you choose but for demonstration let's choose the first one and you can also add graphs and all and plots if you want at the 0.05 level the data was not significantly drawn from a normally distributed population so that is your result so basically you can do all these tests with your data and all these analysis with your data and that will be it for this lecture